Praise the Lord. Welcome to Amy. Guys, look at the view. It's beautiful. I'm here at the house and I'm about to put together a video for you guys of some farm footage that my husband got at the farm, our 50 acre farm. So stay tuned for that footage. I hope you enjoy it. And until next time, God bless you. Good morning. Um, I came here this morning to see how things are going. Um, as they said um, last time, they said when you plug the cocoa every two weeks, you have to go around and uh, plug the one that is ripe. So that's what we are doing this morning. And if you can see, the guy is uh, plugging the cocoa now. At least we have about maybe five people here working so far. Yeah, they're doing a fine job. Um, you know, you can, um, you know, you have to do what they require from you to do. So, um, we are here this morning and I just decided to show you what's going on. Uh, it's a big cocoa. It's not a small one, um, you see. And the one that is black, the officer told us to to just take it out from the farm so yeah, it's working yeah so they're flogging it yeah um i just brought this guy from accra he wanted to work today he wanted to stay uh here and work and it seems like he's gonna do a fine job so i just brought him this morning uh and he's glad that he's here you know he lived in accra and decided that no you know the life in accra is not easy like you think here in the farm um we have um, a room here for him he came with his wife and uh son uh so they are here and they are willing to work at the end of the day i have i will pay them at the end of the month and every week when i come i will give them a little bit of something to you know to take care of himself and his wife and it seems like he's gonna do a good job yeah we need people to help but he's doing a good job so far yeah, they are taking all the the bad ones, the ones that is not good. When they plug it, they just throw it away. So you see all the cocoa, the ones that is ripe. It's a lot of them that's ripe. So yeah. See, they're taking the, the black ones out, you know, the black ones, um, they told us to um, take it out because um, it's not good. Yeah, I just want to show you guys what is going on. We have a lot of cocoa here and palm nut trees. If I'm not mistaken, we have almost about more than 100 palm nut trees um, here. Yeah, the palm nut trees, it's a lot of them and you can tell it has been there for a while. Maybe 30, 40 years. Yeah. This is the one that they use for palm wine and sometimes they use it for uh moonshine yeah so we have a lot of cocoa we got a lot of work you see they have plugged all these ones so the next two weeks we have to come back here again and plug the ones that is ripe 
Cocoa is like that. Every two weeks you come and to get rid of the uh, the ripe one like this one right here. You know, it's ripe. So I'm going to plug it with my hand. Yeah. Yeah. So this one. And now, uh, they said, <coughs> you see this one right here? If you see it, then you just take it off. Yeah. See what it's doing now. Yeah, this one's too. You see it when you see it. You just plug it. Yeah. Yeah. You get rid of it. Well. What about this one? Where am I? I say on. I see not say no. Until yet. Say this one is no good. Let's see. It is. It's good. It's not. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. It's good. Maybe it's good. Yeah. Yeah. What about this one? That one too. Yeah. Kira. Maybe we have more than that. Now you could go and do for more than so. And then no more saying it. Okay. There's some on the floor. Let's see. It's not. It's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I can see that one. Farming is not easy, so we don't want to just get um. Come on, yeah. See, that's another one too. So all this portion here, um, it's a lot of cocoa inside this um, bush. It's a lot of them little um, cocoa trees and I have to let them come and weed all this portion. It's a lot of cocoa inside. Yeah, I told the people to come and weed and they told me it will be like four acres here. They have cocoa inside because the people did not take care of it and they have leave the cocoa inside the bush if you look see how grow the bushes so now i have to come in and take care of my cocoa and make sure that i weed pay people to weed and then do pruning and all those kind of stuff so that's what we've been doing now you know trying to um it's a lot of cocoa inside so it's something that we will come and take care of it yeah yeah so um yeah see that is the black ones that is not good and we have to take remove all those ones as then you see those black ones we have to remove all that those black ones we have to remove all that so I'm gonna use this one to get rid of, sorry, to get rid of, see. They say when it stays on the cocoa tree, it will not produce more cocoa. So, yeah. So that's what we are doing now. I think we got one here too. You know, this one too. I don't think this one will be good, but I don't know. They got blast one here too. Yeah, I'm getting rid of those ones. Yeah. Mama Tina, here's a way be ya. Just make sure it's um, Yeah. And you see they called it um okro. <laughs> yeah. And this one too is big though. You can tell, look, I have about, I'll try to count it, what it is. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. So, 58. We have 60 on this tree. One tree have 60 cocoa. So, what I have to do is just to protect it because they have some kind of... Um, uh, and that come and destroy uh, the small one that is coming. So what they're going to do tomorrow is to spray. That oh. one they have to run any cocoa that has produced. Uh, any tr cocoa tree that has have co little cocoa on it, we have to spray That's and protect. It calls, it's called black pot. If we don't spray it, they will come and destroy the cocoa. So tomorrow they are doing this work. They're going to go one by one on the tree you know come it and spray like this one spray every cocoa on it from the top to down and they just doing it to protect the cocoa that's how uh, it's gonna uh, they're gonna do it tomorrow so they have a lot of work they, uh, as the farm manager was saying he said it's called airborne disease you know so tomorrow they got a work to do so you know, when you take care of your cocoa, it just, um, you get more. See this one, I'm trying to get it out. Those ones are not good, so you take it out so that uh, it can produce. You can tell. That one have about 60. This one, it depends. This ones have about 20 on it. You know, so we're working on it. By the grace of God, everything will be okay it's a lot of money being spent on this weeding pruning spraying everything is money but you know you have to uh, invest money to get what you want you know and i thank the 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 the, the agri officer um he was saying um he told me last time that they have done a research that um they find out that you have to spray uh, the fertilizer every week and it's for those who will be willing to to uh, do that um, because it costs petrol and spray workers you have to pay them and everything so he was saying that if anybody can they will supply them the the uh, the fertilizer so they've been supplying me fertilizer and um, so the one that they call it poison i mean he came here last time spent about two hours in um, this farm making sure that if there is any disease in it he was making sure going around every corner whatever he saw he told the farm manager would you have to do this and i'm listening to him a lot of the farmers don't listen to the officers because they said you know uh, when they come, they will cut your cocoa. When they prune in, they want you to prune everything. But, you know, I have to, they are the expert, you know. So I have to listen to them and, you know, see how it goes. And so far, you know, this year it looks pretty good. But he's telling me that since they did not take care of the cocoa, uh, coming next year is when I will see, uh, the profit because you see like i was telling you they left the cocoa like this you see the bushes yeah so it was a lot of disease on it and i have to come some of the cocoa i have to make sure i cut everything down i have to cut the cocoa because the officer said that it's a lot of disease and it can affect the other trees so i have to hire people to do that and now i'm on it to make sure that you know uh things are done right so that's what is doing you see this black one right here yeah i have to get rid of it so i have my my stick and i just hit it 
think this one, yeah, see, the black ones, I have to get rid of it. Yeah, all right. Thank you, and uh, thank you for watching. Oh, I didn't know that we have to get all the way down here. That's that's where the truck is. Oh, man. I thought we were going up, not knowing we're coming. You see the truck? Yeah. So, the little ones that we get, we gather it, and then, um, uh, you know, we harvest it. Yeah, that's all we're doing. So far, they got a couple of them. Uh, and we will make sure that uh, everything is done today. And... We go from there. All right, thank you. And may the Lord be with each and every one. Farming is good. You have to have passion with it. I love it when I come home. And I thank God that my wife too loved farming. So it work out, you know. She will love to come here every day. But we have another responsibility at, at home. The chickens, the animals, and everything. So when I'm here in the morning, she is out there, you know, doing um, another work, you know, taking care of the animals. But she would love to come here. Yeah. So that's all we got. I think we have a pile, a lot, a little pile, all around the cocoa farm. So that's what we've been doing. All right. Thank you for watching and listening to me and. Like I always said, if you want a farmland, let me know and I can get you one. All right. And it's good to be a farmer. I know that Ghanaians don't, most of the youth don't like when you talk about farming. They don't like it. But at the end of the day, you know, you will get what um, you want. I mean, it costs a lot of money because all the workers that are coming in, you have to pay them. And so if you don't have money... It's going to be hard to maintain your cocoa. That's why the Greek officer was saying that those that they are willing, if they can, you know, they will supply them the, uh, uh, what we call the fertilizer and all what you need to protect the cocoa. But it costs money. So ordinary farmer doesn't have that kind of money, you know. So, I mean, buying petrol every week, paying workers, spraying every week. You know, like they spray last Saturday, they spraying tomorrow. The following week, they have to spray again, you know. So, it, it, it takes money, you know, and supervising. So, um, it's good. If you can do that, it will help. All right, like I always said, you have your hand, you have to get your hand dirty. I'm here with them. When they see that I'm here... They work more, and I too work sometimes, you know. I uh, have to help them, and to see that I'm not lazy. You know, I'm here, I don't sit in my car. We have to go all way and do it 